Hi, Colin here from King Motors. You've clicked the link to one of our Nissan Qashqai's that we have currently advertised. What I want to do here is take you out in a Nissan Qashqai and just show you what they all share, what they'll all do well, what are the pros of them, what are the cons of them, what are the general specs of them all that we will have. We are well known for being a Nissan Qashqai dealer. Uh, we would especially send them a lot prior to Brexit. And since Brexit, it's been very hard to get them, but we finally managed to get them back in the last sort of year or so. So what I wanna do here is put a video together that will just walk you through all the spec and all of the seats, the boot, all that kind of stuff in any of them. So with that in mind, I'm gonna take this one here, the end connected, cause it's middling high spec and it will have pretty much the standard spec that most of them will have. So from here, let's get into the car. We'll go for a drive and I'll walk you through it. Here we are out driving the Qashqai and the first thing you're ever struck with in one of these things is the nice high vantage point. You get to see over the traffic in front of you. Like you can see two or three cars ahead of you. Fantastic for the motorway, that kind of stuff. Um, I find it takes all that anxiety out of like poor weather conditions on motorways when you can see ahead of you and a van and that kind of stuff won't block your view. So like pretty good in that sense. The second thing that's always kind of surprising with Qashqai's is how they drive. They drive and feel just like a car. Now, in the main, when you make something tall and you put big wheels on it and that kind of stuff, it gets wallowy. And like, if you've ever driven a real, a true off-road four by four car, um, they're quite an experience. And you must change the way you drive because SUV in those things stands for a suddenly upside down vehicle. Whereas with this, just drive through corners, all that kind of stuff, doesn't wallow, doesn't do anything like that. Um, really, really good in that sense. And the third most pertinent thing about Qashqai is generally in terms of how they drive and what they do is the fuel economy. The fuel economy in these things beggars belief. It really shouldn't be anywhere near as good as they are. Like these will, now again, it's anecdotal experience, but it, it's, it's my experience of them. In the city, you'll get into the mid to high 50s driving one of these. And on the motorway, you'll get into the mid 60s which is kind of mad because it used to be the opposite way, like a big lazy engine in a small body worked. And anyway, turbochargers and that kind of tech has come on usually. So they really are fabulous that way. Then the physical size of them. As I sit here now, I'm six feet one and I am pleasantly plump, it's fair to say. I have all the room in the world. I fit really well in this car and five adults will travel in one of these things quite comfortably. So much so, let me just show you into the back. So here I am sitting in the back behind my own driving position. I'm six feet one, as I said earlier, and I'm pleasantly plump, it's fair to say. So in this position, I've got ample knee room. I can put my feet out in front of me. I'm comfortable. There's not a very high center rise in the middle. Um, so three people will fit across this quite easily. We've got isofix points on both sides over here, and we have an armrest with cup holders for when your kids are shouting at you. From there, I wanna bring you back into the cab and show you what all of these cash guys will have. Now, some will come with a roof, no matter what the spec. In this second generation, you could opt for a roof or not for a roof. It wasn't part of a pack. So you could have the very highest spec one without a roof, or you could have the very lowest spec one with a roof, as long as you opted for it. But the one thing they'll all share, certainly the ones we bring in, is this infotainment screen here. So in this, we have a reverse camera. Some of them will have 360 reverse cameras. This particular car, I think, has 360 on it. We'll have a look now. Um, and some of them will, they'll all have sat nav, they'll all have Bluetooth phone connectivity, but some of them in this newer facelift model, now only some of them, not all, will have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So that's a really nice touch too. The other thing about them then is the boot is very big, very usable. So from there, let's just move backwards into the boot. So the boot space on these, as I said earlier, it's pretty huge, 429 liters. So comparative to anything in the segment, actually bigger than most things in the segment, but they have one very cool function. This floor is false. You can take it out completely. Grant, you get more room down at the bottom and you get like your, your, you know, your kit for changing tires and stuff. However, this is where it becomes beautiful. There's a slot here that we can slide one half in and we can separate all our gear here. You can have golf clubs, rugby kit, anything dirty and smelly and dogs, bleh, all that kind of stuff. But you can put your shopping on the other side. Or if you just have a small amount of stuff, you don't want to roll around the boot while you're driving around all day, do this, locks it into one side, so very, very usable. A real utilitarian car. Other than that though, in terms of numbers on these particular cars, we know these very well. There was a point in time where we were selling more of these than local Nissan dealers pre-Brexit. Brexit put the fly in our ointment, so to speak, but I'll just show you a little carousel here of all the ones we've got.
Now, of all of those uh, cars we've done, which is over 1,300 units at our last count, we were 11 years we specialised in them, from the older model right the way through. There was times on a Saturday where we sold 10 of these in one day. Um, but anyway, in all of those times, we never had to do anything horrific to them. Like, we never had to do an engine in any of them. We never had to do... Uh, um, anything big and remedial of all of those cars we probably did a handful and i do mean a handful of turbochargers and we did i think if i remember correctly now i think we did about six gearboxes and it wasn't because they failed it was because the first motion shaft got a bit noisy in them that was it so in terms of their reliability they are fantastic and um, they would have small gremlins and by small gremlins i mean glitchy stuff stuff you don't have to spend money on sometimes it's just plug them in scan them in sometimes they just cycle off and it would all be down to the automated driving and the parking sensors and that kind of stuff and 99.999 percent of the time when someone calls me with that complaint i say go out give them a wipe and i never hear from them again it's just grit and silt and stuff so it's all small little stuff they do wrong nothing big uh, nothing horrific <clears throat> certainly from our side of the desk we found them to be fantastic but that's it i'll move on to us briefly just to let you know about us and hopefully the one you're watching the we are we were one of the first ever second hand dealers to be simi approved and now we're aa approved we have been aa approved for about two years two and a half years the aa approval allows us to offer up to 24 months warranty on these cars and uh, that warranty to, to execute that warranty we have to do a 101 point pre-sale check on the car so pretty much everything is looked at on the car before it goes out. It's also like, it's not an easy sort of organization to get into. Sometimes some lads get into it who quite quickly are drummed out of it. You know, they're, they're let in and then they prove themselves. So for us, it's a, it's a good feather in our cap. The other thing about us is we have 4.9 out of a potential five stars on Google, making us, I think, if, if not the, certainly one of the highest Google rated uh, secondhand dealers in Ireland. So have a read of those things, see how everybody else got on with us. But back to the car, you're looking at, just click the link below and it will show you all the specific details of the car you're looking at, ads, how to finance with us, trade-ins, all that kind of stuff. Just walk it through all that kind of stuff, make it easy for you. But that's it again. Thanks for watching our video and hopefully we will see you soon.